and I'm Dar, Michelle Umar. I'm Michelle Ward. I'm a level two hairdressing tutor at Collie Cambria. I currently work on the Deeside site, but I've also worked on the Yale site. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit today about our hair uh, level two hairdressing course. So hairdressing course consists, it's a vocational course, consists of uh, practical elements um, that you complete in our skills sessions at both sites. We also have uh, commercial, uh, commercial salons at both sites where we have external clients that come in for you to work on. Um, we uh, work in line with industry so that our qualification is able to um, get you ready for industry and um, make sure that you are industry ready so that you can go straight out and get yourself a job and be working um, just like with lots of experience, just like you've been hairdressing for years. Um, I'm just going to um, introduce a short video now for you to watch. We are Cambria. We were rated excellent by Estin inspectors. We inspire success. We provide learners with work experience, which enables them to have the very best employment opportunities. We are the highest performing college in Wales. We lead the way with our world-class facilities. We partner with top universities to bring degrees to your doorstep. We have raised over £500,000 for charity since 2013. We impact positively on the wider communities we serve. We change thousands of lives every year. We can change yours. Your success starts here. Fantastic. Okay, so across our both sites, we have training salons. We have two training salons on our Yale campus and we have uh, two training salons on our Deeside campus. They also have a commercial salon, as I mentioned earlier. Um, in our training salons, that's where you are given your skills by your lecturers. Um, we start off with basic skills and then you work on Dolly's heads and then work on peers. Um, we get you ready for a commercial salon. Within our hairdressing course, um, it's an accelerated um, course. So you will be um, working in the commercial salon as your work experience. So the skills that you gain in your practical skill sessions will then be uh, utilized in your commercial sessions. Um, on both sites, we um, have a range of different uh, levels of tutors. We have our assessors, which will complete your assess assessments for you in the commercial salons. And then there's the tutors stroke lecturers in the skills salons. That's where you'll be um, giving your theory sessions as well. We start off with underpinning knowledge. Um, you'll learn um, the knowledge behind what you're doing and then you will carry out the practical skills. I'm just gonna go on to a few little questions that we've previously had sent in. Um, so what are the topics covered on the course? So we've got um, on our level two hairdressing course, we have uh, health and safety, consultation, we have shampoo and condition the hair, we have the art of dressing hair, that is your styling unit, your blow drying and setting, we have cut women's hair, we have colour and lighten, um, promote products and services, plaiting and twisting, the art of colouring hair, working in the hair industry and creating image. They're made up of mandatory units and optional units. Um, the mandatory units are there for you to, um, you've got to complete all of them. And then the optional units are picked by your tutor. They are picked based on um, what's current in industry at the moment. Um, like I said previously, um, when we start working through these um, units, you will be working on Dolly's heads in the skills salons. Um, once you're ready and you've got your skills, you move on to peers. When you complete your formative assessments, you then move um, on to summative assessments, which are completed in the commercial salon with your assessor. 
learners who, um, when you're in the salons, you are um, assessed holistically. So that means you can gain a range of different assessments whilst you're doing one client. So you don't necessarily need lots and lots of clients all the time. You can get um, holistically assessed on different things. For instance, you could get health and safety, consultation, um, shampooing and blow drying. Um, if you meet um, standards, then you could um, be assessed on all of them in, in one um, assessment. Um, to um, get the best out of the course, we recommend that you start uh, with a kit and a uniform. This is to promote your professionalism and so that you've got everything ready for you when we start completing uh, practical assessments and skills in the workshops. Another question is, will you have the opportunity to practice on real life clients? Yes, definitely. Our commercial salons are open to external clients. We have got a very big um, client base. Um, clients book in, uh, that's where if you've got a reception unit to cover in your qualification, you will work with the receptionists um, to book clients in, uh, jot down colors, any information, any contraindications, any um, any important information there that needs to be stored, you will uh, get the opportunity to do that as well. Um, the treatments um, usually start off at just blow drying and shampooing at the beginning of your uh, course. And then obviously as you progress throughout your course and learn new skills, then that's when you will transfer them into the commercial sessions. So um, clients can be booked in for bigger treatments such as colors, cuts, perms, um, anything that's um, uh, included in your course. Um, let's have a little look. We've got another question. Uh, what support is available? Uh, sorry, I just froze then, I think. Um, so what support is given? Um, you've got uh, your tutors, you've got your personal tutor, um, your lecturer, your assessor. On site, we also have uh, student support, we have ALN support, and we've got the learning zone as well. So there's lots of different areas you can gain support with. Um, it's, it's on hand uh, every minute you're in college. Um, another qualification here, uh, another um, question, sorry. Uh, do you have the opportunity to do hair up? Yes. Um, so hair up um, isn't a standalone unit. However, it's in it's dropped into styling unit. Um, so you'll be given the chance to do long hair up. Um, you'll be given a range of different techniques to use, such as setting, pin curling, um, finger waving, blow drying. And then you can use all these um, set setting and dressing techniques to learn how to do hair up. So that's where you'll be stretched and challenged. That then will also fit into your create an image unit, which I mentioned earlier. And um, that's when you use all your skills throughout the year and you pull them together and you create an image um, based on a final theme that uh, either your tutor or you choose as a group. So there's lots of opportunity to showcase long hair up as well as, as completing it and, and practicing towards it. Um, I just wanted to um, talk about here as well. Um, the qualification is completed through um, practical assessments, um, assignments and, an ex and external papers. So not all the units are covered with an external paper. They can be um, via an assignment. Um, due to current situations, a lot of the exams weren't able to be um, taken previously so we converted the exams into assignments so if we are unable to sit exams then we've got the option for assignments as well so it's a really versatile qualification and we're still able to deliver and um, make sure that you've got all the underpinning knowledge that you need to complete that unit um, the, qualifi the qualification will take one year to complete. It's an accelerated learning program and then that will give you the chance to progress on to um, level three. Um, which then your skills will be um, taken to the next level, ready for um, industry at a level three. Um, yeah, so there's lots of opportunities within the college. Um, when you're completing um, 
practical ass assessments and skills in the salons and um, there's opportunities for you to be entered into competitions and there's an opportunity for you to work with the beauty uh, students to pull your um, skills together and work as a team and showcase them in different events that uh, are put on by the department. So it's not only an opportunity for you to come in and learn that industry, it also uh, opens up a range of different avenues for you to look at in the future as well, which is really, really important. Um, so, yeah, that's about it, really. I uh, hope I've given you all the information you need. Um, thank you very much for listening and hope to see you soon.